Bye guys! To see how I got this makeup look, keep watching! First, I am going to use my e.l.f. Hydrating Primer, and I never use primer, but I decided to try this because I'm dealing with a lot of shedding on my skin where it gets really dry and flaky because I am aggressively trying to treat the melasma on my skin. These dark spots that I get have gotten really bad. So actually they're already getting a little bit better because I've aggressively been treating them with my Obagi Hydroquinone. And I also got one that is, um, does not have Hydroquinone. It's called FX. And I'll link everything below that I'm using. And I also use a strong glycolic acid. So even though I have to go through all of this um, shedding of my skin, it's so worth it because it really gets rid of all the dark spots. It helps with lines and wrinkles. So that's where this primer comes in. And I decided to just try a cheap one, but this one had said hydrating, and that is definitely what I needed. So the first time that I tried it, I could not believe it. It's kind of thick, but when it goes on, it is, it feels like silk. And it helps my makeup go on so nice. So if any of you have dry skin, flaky skin, definitely give this a try. I am hooked on it. I really think I'm going to continue using it even when my skin is not shedding. Another thing that I have been loving for my dry skin is Cashmere on Lip Pot, and this is by Emile Cordon. And this company sent me these and I am totally hooked. I love that the first one that they gave me is called Number One Lisa. I thought that was so cool that it had my name on it. So the first time I tried this, I could not believe it. It's for your lips, your face, anywhere on your skin that you need hydration. And they come in these gorgeous containers. And it comes with this little spatula and you just scoop it out and put it wherever you need hydration. Ugh, and it, they smell like heaven. So I've been using it on my lips. I'm dabbing it around my eyes before I put my makeup on. Ugh, it's so hydrating. Absolutely love it. They also sent me this one. What is the name of this one? Number 72 Coco comes in these adorable boxes. This one is Coco. Oh, they smell just absolutely delicious. So number 72 Coco is called White Coconut Flake. And the number one Lisa is Rose Champagne. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I absolutely love them. So if you've been watching my videos lately, you'll know that my new favorite foundation is Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water. And I wanted to try the dupe for it, which is the e.l.f. Foundation Serum with Goji Berry. I'm not sure who told me this, but someone left a comment on my video and told me about this dupe and I had to try it. It's way cheaper and let's see how comparable it is. So it's watery just like, just like the Smashbox. The 
these watery foundations I always apply with my fingers. They go on much nicer. Wow, I really like how it's going on. There's good coverage. It's not too thick. I would say it is very comparable to the Smashbox BB Water. This color that I'm using today is a light medium and it's very close to the same color in the light medium of the BB Water. So I definitely need to self tan and the medium light works perfectly when I'm not tanned. To touch up any blemishes or where I want a thicker coverage, I'm using Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream for Eyes, but I am using this anywhere that I want to touch up as a concealer. And it has a little twist top. And I got this in the color light medium also. I'm using my Maybelline Ultra Brow. Next, I'm using my NYX Micro Brow in taupe. Next, I am going to touch up around my eyebrows with my foundation. Next, I'm going to use my Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. So bringing light to these areas brings it forward instead of it going back with the dark shadows on your face and it gives you a more awake, youthful look. For powder, I am using my Revlon Color Stay in Medium Deep. And I'm only putting powder where I normally get oily. I pretty much have dry combination skin. The one place that I never put powder is underneath my eyes because it just makes my under eyes look so much older. And the Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller is super thin and watery, so you can just put it on throughout the day. You can keep it in your pocketbook, touch up if you need to. I've never had any problems with it. It's definitely the best under eye concealer that I've ever found for my under eyes. I also like to use the e.l.f. and I am using this in medium glow and this is also super thin and liquidy and I don't have any problems with this either. For bronzer, I am going to use my Physicians Formula Bronzer in the color bronzer. And I'm going to blend it in with a clean brush. 
for eyes, I am going to use the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. And I am going to use this color. And next, I am going to use this dark purpley burgundy color. And I always like to go up pretty high with the darker eyeshadow because it lifts the eye and opens up the eye. And I'm using a clean fluffy brush to blend. Next, I'm going to use this color. I'm using a wet brush. Next, I'm going in with this lighter purple color. I'm going back in with the darkest color. I'm going to use some of my bronzer under my eyes. And I'm going to touch up around my eyes. For eyeliner, I am going to use the darkest purple color with a wet brush. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. And for blush, I am going to use my It Bye Bye Pores in Naturally Pretty. I am using Voluminous Million Lashes in Waterproof Black is Black for my lashes. I'm going to use my Scandalize Nude Eyeliner in my waterline. For lips, I am going to use Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in color 15 Lover. Well, I really like this color, but the only complaint I have is the applicator is very like hard and stiff. I like when it's kind of bends with your lips. So otherwise, I absolutely love this color. And I'm going to use my Pure Bliss setting spray. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye.